Yes, I. No brothers, no sisters. This one's going straight out to Darren, the wet wipe G. What's going on, Darren? I haven't mentioned you for about six months. I thought we were all right, me and you, you know, maybe a bit of, I don't know, just a bit of a non-verbal agreement that we weren't going to mention each other, you know, because remember about six or more months ago when you were irritating us a little bit and I offered to, to meet you somewhere and flat pack you like a set of drawers from Ikea and you never got back to us and after a day or two it didn't sit too well with us, I felt like I was bullying you, so I issued an apology, remember? And I thought the apology was uh, taken quite well. You've mentioned us a couple of times since, and I haven't, I haven't bit, you know, because you're you, aren't you? But that live I've just listened to, mate, mm, I thought, I'm going to respond. And I understand I don't need to. But you see, I want to. Because not only is YouTube a platform where we can come on and portray our journeys or, you know, speak our minds or people use it for loads of other things. But um, it's also a business, isn't it? You know, and my business and my revenue comes from ads, ad revenue, not paid for by the paying public. Your business on YouTube comes, for, comes from and via scrounging off your subscribers. You know, so it's a business, isn't it? So I thought, you know, some I'll respond. I'll put some in the mix. I haven't made a video for a few days. I thought, why not? Now, on your live, does you were, uh, you know, giving it to me a little bit, which I can handle, by the way. You know, you can give it to me as much as you want. You know, I've talked about my mother. You've sort of insulted my recovery and stuff. You called us a Christian. Don't ever mistake me for a Christian, mate. You see, that's the thing with you, Darren. You, you, you've maybe seen the cross on my channel because you look and you don't listen. I've explained many times why I bear the cross on my channel, you know, but you, have, you don't pay attention. You don't do your due, dil due diligence and, you know, and you, you judge without doing any research because that's, that's Darren G, isn't it? So, where my ears picked up and this is what really warranted the response was you insulted my last opponent, Terry Brazier. You said he was shit. Now, Darren... As somebody like yourself who literally couldn't knock the fluff off a cappuccino, I don't think you should be discrediting fighters, mate. You know, there's one thing that's known, you know, quite well now, and that is that you, sir, cannot fight. And that's fine. That's cool. People have different talents in different areas. And for what it's worth, I think... You're a good speaker. I think you've got a decent level of intelligence and you've got a broad broad vocabulary. But more so, you use the right words at the right time and you can describe something very quickly and you can get to the point rapidly through the power of speech. There you go. That's your big up for this video that's done. Now, let's have it right, mate. Terry Brazier is a very credible opponent, a former two-time world champion in MMA, Bama, Bellator, you know, a veteran. Um, very credible opponent indeed, who I've got an abundance of respect for, which is a lot more than I can say for you. Then, what further picked my ears up even more was your message, my message, my message. Are you still harping on about that message? What message, mate? Choose a life. My message, mate, that is not your message. That slogan and that message was attached to a campaign that went on way up and over the border years ago. You've attached yourself to it. You've stolen it. You've washed it down. You've scrubbed it up. And you've decided to call it your message. It's not your message. It's a good message but not when it's coming from you, because you, sir, couldn't be any less credible. He's a little chavy. You, sir, couldn't be any less credible to deliver that message. First of all, you were brandishing a knife, remember, in that live, insinuating what you would do if anyone come round to your bed sit. You know, that's, 
not cool, is it, for somebody who's supposed to be an ambassador of your message? And another thing, which you've never addressed, you know, and I think you should have, but, you know, like many things that you say that aren't wrong and are way out of order, you don't address them. You just brush them off as if they didn't happen. Remember when you had those two schoolgirls on your live and you were talking very inappropriately to them, very inappropriately indeed. You were referring to sexual encounters to two young girls, which I thought was disgusting, you know. And no better than the people that you slate and the people that you go after. You're in fact, in my opinion, you know, you're a lot worse. You're very confused. You're very contradicting. You know, you're not certain of what direction you're going in. But um, I'm going to leave that there. I think I've said enough, you know. I'm going to have a splendid afternoon, you know. You do you. Have fun in your bed sit, promoting your message. And um, we might speak again. Who knows? Bye-bye for now, Treacle.